Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. For today's video, we will go over two things. Number one, how to retrieve your student ID number, and number two, how to create your password. With these two pieces of information, you will be able to log on to eServices, which is the platform American River College uses to provide you with important information, such as your registration appointments and access to enroll in your courses. Let's get started. You should have submitted your ARC application by now. Please make sure to apply if you haven't done so already. For those of you that have applied, you need your social security number to retrieve your student ID. If you do not have a social security number, please contact the Admissions and Records Office. You can contact them via phone number or email address and I provided their contact information on this slide. Retrieving your student ID number. Here's how to retrieve your student ID number with your social security. Please open a new web browser and visit arc.losrios.edu. Once your page loads, look for the student login in the right corner. Hover over it and click on eServices, as shown here. Next. You now have a new tab open that looks like this. This is your eServices login page. Look for the blue letters at the bottom of the page and click on look up your student ID. Next. Your page should now look like this. You will fill in the following information. For number one, you will enter your nine digit social security number without dashes or spaces. Please see example in red numbers. For number two, you will enter your birth date, starting with month, day, and year. And for number three, you will enter the text that appears on your screen. Please note, letters should be capitalized and you should not have spaces in between letters. Once you finish entering your answers for boxes one, two, and three, you will click the look up button one time. Your page should now look similar to this one. This page shows your ID number. Please make sure to write this number down in a secure place and or take a screenshot so that you can refer back when needed. You now have access to your student ID number. The next portion of this video will show you how to create your password to log on to eServices. If you need to complete this step, please click on the blue letters that read Initial Password Security Setup and continue on. Create your new password. This portion of the video will talk about how to set up your password for the first time. The link should redirect you to this page. Your login is W followed by your student ID. See example as a reference. You will then type the four characters that appear on your screen. Please capitalize and do not include spaces. You will now hit the continue button. Next, you will now see this screen. You will need to answer the security questions exactly as you filled them out in your application. Please answer both questions accurately. See the sample questions as a reference. Next. After correctly answering your security questions, your screen will look like this. You will create a 10 character password that follows all the guidelines listed here. Make sure to keep your password in a secure place so that you can reference back if needed. Once you have successfully created your password, you will log on to eServices where you will enter your student ID and your newly created password. Next. Welcome to your eServices homepage. For the first time, users will have a quick guide so that you can familiarize yourself with all the modules. You want to make sure that all holds have been cleared prior to the, your registration appointment. Please take the time to explore and learn to navigate this website. 
Thank you all for watching and please feel free to follow and like our career education at American River College pages on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and have a great day.